Hi, I'm Mr. Sam the Allotment Man and today we're going to make a bird scarer with a coat hanger and a plastic bag. Right then, so first of all, let's have a look at one of the bird scarers in action. There you go, it's not uh, the windiest day, um, but you can sort of get the general idea. So, how do we go about this task of making a bird scarer out of a plastic bag? Let's get on with it. Okay, so first of all, what we're gonna do with our coat hanger? Well, we're gonna bend it a bit. So first of all, you want this hook shape to be straight. And you can generally do that with your fingers, except for the last bit that needs a little bit of extra encouragement. There you go. And that needs to be as straight as you can get it. So you might need to use a pair of pliers. Okay, so here's my pliers, and I'm just gonna make that little bit just straight. So there you go. There's our first bit done. Second bit, we're now going to uh, pull and make a diamond shape. Okay, all right. And then we are going to squeeze, all right. And we're gonna make one angle here, just in the middle of here, and that's gonna bend upwards, okay, like that. And then do exactly the same on the other side, so it's mirroring. Now it doesn't have to be that accurate, really. So there we go, so we've got that sort of thing going on. All right, okay. And these are gonna um, go together as much as possible. Again, doesn't matter if it's uh, not quite right. And the next thing is to bend these two pieces outwards. Okay, I'm gonna show you how. So we just get like that and we bend, okay, and then turn it over and bend. There we go. So we've got this short uh, sort of shape going on, all right? And then uh, one other thing that we need to do is to bend this piece of wire down. So there we've got our framework for our bird scarer. Now, what do we do with the bag? This is not rocket science. We're going to cut down one side like this. This is one way of uh, recycling your bags, because not everybody has the opportunity to recycle their plastic bags. Now, inside the plastic bag, you'll see there's some folded up stuff. We don't need that, so I'm gonna cut off all of that. So that's gonna be like a couple of inches, about four, five centimeters. And that, unfortunately, is rubbish, but you could use it as a tie or something to tie some plants up whatever you want to do but that's rubbish for now okay that goes in there so we now have our open bag all right now the handles are okay they can stay there okay because we're going to use that as our top edge all right now you've got to make sure that this length is the right length and it's very simple put that there so we get our shape like this now this is the opening and this length here has got to be the same length there all right or roughly so I'm gonna start like that. Uh, so we're gonna start here. Okay, I think we can see that. I'm gonna roll over, just roughly. Keep rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling. So that is the length here of our circumference. So I'm gonna cut just a little bit longer so we've got an overlap, so I'll do it about here, along like so. Okay, just thrilling stuff, thrilling stuff. You know where I'm going. Now, next thing, we're gonna get some tape. We're gonna get that ready. I'm gonna use some gaffer. Uh, you can use any tape that you want, really. Up to you. Okay, Oop. and I'm gonna get them ready here. So I'm gonna make them into short pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, they're our first ones. Now, we're gonna attach this to uh, that. Now, uh, I'm gonna fold it over. I'm gonna use the handles as a guide. That's gonna be my halfway point. That's how I'm gonna fold it over like so, okay? So um, I'm gonna put that on like that to begin with and fold our plastic bag over and then get our little bit of tape, okay? And stick that on, uh, like that. And I'm gonna roll it over again. There's a big bit of a gap here because of the handle, but don't worry about that, that's all right. Okay, and then it's going to go over again. It's a bit dusty in here, so some of the tape's not sticking. It doesn't matter at the moment. This is just to hold the things in place, and then keep going round. You can see like that, 
and then stick another piece and then around again at this end and stick that bit over like that okay so we've got our tube there we are tube hello okay now what we need to do is stick this together so it makes a tube all right so we're going to get our two sides like so fold them over so it's a nice tube okay and get some more tape just put it on like that now you notice i've only put small bits of tape on there it's because it's just easier to use while you've got all your hands full now we're going to get some big bits of tape and i'm going to stick them on like so inside okay so it's the big daddy tape in there shove it on okay a bit more now this could be easier if two people do it at the same time um, but then if you're making one of these you probably haven't got anyone to make in it because I don't know it's just sort of thing you do by yourself isn't it really okay another bit on there slap it around mm -mm -mm. okay now I have made a um, pop bottle bird scarer which I found to be quite effective but the birds do get used to things so you have to move them around but so what I'm doing is going to just change the bird scarers and make that into a nice shape bird scarers so um, once they get used to one I, I just swap them out and put another one out there uh, and then that hopefully shall scare them All right, there you go now that's that okay now you only need a little bit of a tube alright so this bit of, bit of tube there so you're forming the wind sock okay now you might want to take a bit more care and time over this than I have but to be honest it doesn't matter too much now now to make this terrifying for the birds okay we're gonna make some strips and we're gonna cut them along here like this so remember there's no measuring with this it's just making it up as you go along really you can probably do this with the kids because you don't need very sharp scissors to do it because these aren't very sharp at all all right and uh, bit more like that do, 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 do. and be careful not to cut all the way through because um, you'll just have gaps and you won't have stringy bits there we go uh, uh, uh. okay and that's there and that is there there you go and that is how to make a bird scarer out of a plastic bag and a coat hanger. Now there is uh, two other little bits that I've just put put in. Okay, you don't have to do these really. This is obviously going to go in the top of the stick. All right. Now I've got these uh, little bits of plastic tube. Okay, I've got them from a model shop, and I, it's just something I had hanging around. You could use an old biro or something like that. That's just for that to go into. So it's got something smooth to move around in. Okay. All right. Now at the bottom of the hole. So um, what I want you to do is drill into the bottom of your post uh, and put this in there for it to spin on. But before you put this in, you get a nail, okay? A little nail just like that, okay? Which is about the same sort of size head as the bottom. So when this goes in, all right, uh, that will be at the bottom of the hole so it can swing, so it won't eat into the wood, all right? So uh, let's go outside, stick it in the garden and see if it works. Okay then, we're going to uh, set up our bird scarer. Okay, here's the one we just made. Now, here's the one that I uh, sort of tr had a tryout with. And you can see it's spinning in the wind like that. This one's made out of a Tesco's bag. I don't know what this one is. Uh, uh, I have no idea, but you can see how it's spinning around. I'm gonna take it out. Here's the tube, okay, there's the tube that we made for our other one, okay. Now, there's a nail at the bottom of this hole, okay, in there. So I put the nail in, and then I, I banged it down with a bigger nail. That sits in there, and then that goes on top, okay. And that should spin around. Look, there you go, there's not a lot of wind today. Oh, you can see it's doing its thing, so there you go. A bird scarer is working. All you need is an old carrier bag and you need a coat hanger and a little bit of time and some sticky tape and you're away. So uh, that's me, Mr. Sam the Allotment Man, saying goodbye and happy growing.